Okay, so I got the high blow pump, which I shared with you guys earlier. It's pretty quiet. You kind of hear it humming. Not too bad. And then I got these manifolds from Fawn Lake, and they're pretty nifty. I, I basically put two of them together, and they've got these little valves on them. They come with these barbed fittings. I'm using the compression style one, so I just yanked those off. Uh, I'm a couple short, so ordered a few more. I bought a little gauge. That's what the high blow pump's running at. It's running right around seven PSI. That's with one one on, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. But that's going down to that's going down to the main one that's in the bottom, the air stone that's at the very bottom of the pond. So uh, feed to those little bubblers, and what I'll do is I'm going to start to turn them on. So if you look across, so if I turn on this valve here we should start to see some water. Ah, there it is. It's that one over there. So you can see the water coming out of the top of that. So that's really the heartbeat or the, the circulation system of the pond are gonna be these standpipes. So here you can see that one over there running now. If I turn it off, off the main one. So you can see the water starting to come up. Now, I will say they're not great with lift. If you've got um, if you got a long way to go up, you know, above the water line, this is not the best way to do it, but when it's at the water line or below, it will move a lot of water. My math on this is telling me we'll do something like 300 gallons a minute in circulation for this pond with that thing, which is pretty impressive. And I think that thing runs on equivalent to a light bulb. So that's where we sit with the pond at the moment. I'm gonna keep working on this, clean this up here a little bit. Then we're gonna plant the plants. I'm excited.